it's lunchtime. Actually, it's a little late for lunch, but it's lunchtime for me because I haven't really had time to eat. Right, so today I'm going with gyudon from the convenience store, which is beef and onions and sauce on uh, rice. Then, shoo, some kimchi, and that's going to be yummy. I'm excited about that. And, of course, eat it. I'm going to abuse the environment and use these disposable chopsticks and then the toothpick afterwards because I forgot to bring my own. And before all that, of course, let's clean up your hands, which means let's clean up my hands. Right, so I'm going to enjoy that. And then for dessert, I'm going to have this lovely popsicle, which is a new product in Japan. It's the Gari Gari Kun Richi Napolitan Aji. Uh, popsicle. It's a popsicle that's meant to taste like pasta. It even has tomato gelatin inside, so I can't wait for that. Oh yeah, spaghetti popsicle. That's what it's all about. Let's get a close-up before I eat it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Time to put it in the freezer. I forgot to mention that I had ryokucha, or this kind of green tea, with uh, my lunch. But it's it's done. I'm done eating it. So now I'm on to this, <clears throat> which uh, I may have misspoke, misspoken. This is racto ice, which means it's a more like a cream sickle. I'm not really sure. It's got a little bit of milk in it, so it's like a milky popsicle. And napoli is a, a kind of pasta. I'll show you now. <sighs> Basically, it's spaghetti with, uh, you know, like Tabasco sauce and ketchup and looks like ham and green pepper and garlic and onions, maybe. I don't know. Whatever that thing said is what it is. Uh, and, um, yeah, they decided to make a popsicle. Now, the interesting thing about popsicles in Japan, or creamsicle in this case, either one, uh, people will call this ice candy. Uh, so it's it's almost like candy. It's funny that they call it ice candy. They don't say popsicle. So let's open this sucker up. Let's just have a look on the back really quick. Uh, yeah, it's got basically five, no, no, four, about four and a half percent milk, 160 calories. Got to open this sucker up here. smells like, it basically smells like frozen spaghetti. It's a creamsicle, people. It's not a popsicle. It looks like it's gonna be like an orange flavored one, which should be yummy. I love those orange and vanilla ones. Here we go. Do I have any? My lunch stuck in my teeth? No. Whew, okay. Noisy. Let's close the window. Ah, suspense. There's the clock saying it's three o'clock. <sighs> it's not a strong smell though. It's it it's more like a popsicle than a creamsicle. Really, it's kind of crunchy. It it tastes like. Frozen spaghetti sauce. That's it. I mean, you, you could pretty much go in your freezer if you have frozen spaghetti sauce and eat some. I think it's like this. I'm also about to get to the tomato gelatin part in the middle. By tomato gelatin, what they mean is like a tomato. Wait. After eating the gelatin part, the outside tastes better because the gelatin's like a bit more powerful. This is kind of gross.
But I'm hot because I walked a lot today. It's pretty warm outside. So I think I'm gonna eat it all. Oh, it's really tomatoey. The uh, fascination with tomatoes continues in Japan. Tomato chewing gum, tomato candy, now tomato popsicles. Tomato cream sickle sounds kind of wrong. Maybe I'll go, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this whole thing. I'm impressed. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Tapitayero. Nom 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 nom. Mmm. <laughs> you know, I've kind of gotten used to it. I really didn't plan on eating the whole thing. I thought maybe I'd take one bite and throw it away. It's only like a dollar or something, you know, for one, so. You know, I want to try new things, but I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I'm shocked. Hmm. Definitely tastes like frozen spaghetti sauce. But if you don't think about that and you just eat it, it's not too bad. Hmm. Bye-bye.